My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have got a firecracker right here. It's a 66 Mustang Coupe. A board and stroke 354 motor putting out over 400 horsepower. It was dyno tested. It's got a five speed, 411 posi, four wheel disc brakes, uh, deluxe pony interior. This thing is a little rocket. And it's got a whole bunch of receipts and information that goes with it as well, so you know what you're getting. You can also go to volocars.com. That's where you can read this specs study over 100 pictures top to bottom and that's where you'll find prices on over 200 collector cars that we have for sale right now that's at volocars.com if you enjoy the video subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the bell icon that way you'll see the new ones as they're posted but for right now buckle up join me let's go for a spin yeah it's a beautiful car i mean the bright red is just like wow um, but starting underneath, the floors and frame rails looks to be all good, clean metal. They did weld in frame rails connecting the front to the back. It just makes it uh, more rigid, prevents it from twisting. Uh, upgraded brake system. It's disc at all four corners. I was told there are even four piston calipers in the back. Uh, they're from stainless steel brake company, so the, the pistons internals are stainless so they don't rust. <clears throat> Uh, you look up at the oil pan, it's an oversized oil pan, which means it has extra oil, keeping the motor good. It's got a heavy duty bell housing, uh, and then that's connected to a five speed transmission, which is new. It's a T5, uh, boy, I forget the name of it, but there's a company that makes them. It's an upgraded T5 trans, and again, it's not used. It's a new one, we have the receipt. It has a new, Ford nine inch rear, rear end. That's the heavy duty rear. It's a Mosier rear end. It has 411 True Track Posi gears in it. The steering and suspension's been redone. The front end's rebuilt. It has a new sway bar. Uh, the rear suspension's been redone as well. It's got uh, leaf springs and shocks. Uh, it's got a nice sounding dual exhaust system, which you'll hear at the end of this video. Actually, you'll love hearing this one. It sounds good. Sounds great. Uh, so underneath the car, really nice. All the components are excellent and the integrity is there. The body is beautiful. Again, bright red just pops it. It's lipstick red, let's, let's call it, because it, uh, it has some sizzle, it's bright, it's shiny. Up front here, the chrome, the grill, all of this is very nice. There's about 6,500 miles on the car, which isn't a lot, but it's not a brand new car, so it does have a little nick or chip if you look for them. I haven't found one yet, but, but they're here, I'm sure, if we look hard enough. Uh, the windshield's crystal clear, no vinyl tops, which is all flashy red. Uh, the mirror, door handle, the side chrome here, all looks like it's been replaced. The moldings have been replaced. The glass is all tinted. Paint's still looking real good. I still haven't found a chip. I find a little piece of dust or this or that. It could use uh, real hardcore buffing if you want it like glass, but it's better than the paint jobs you'll find on new cars, just to put it in perspective. It's a beautiful, smooth finish. The gas cap, tail lights, bumper, all that's excellent. These are LED tail lights, so they light up nice and bright. And the car is straight. I don't see a wave or ripple. Is really nice clean body. I apologize about the leaves on the tire. The leaves are all falling and it's wet out there. Uh, but this side's just as good. This is all smooth and fits real nice. There is a little crack right here. That happens when the door swings open too hard. I think it hits the hinge. I've seen that on Mustangs before. Uh, but it's been there a while. Nothing to worry about. Here's a nick right on the edge of the hood right here. Just a couple of minor little imperfections in the paint on the hood. So let's open this hood. So it's a 302 motor. It's been bored and stroked. We have the complete receipt with all the specs. It is a roller 
timing chain, they're Edelbrock aluminum heads, they look like they're polished, polished aluminum Edelbrock intake, a dual feed Pro Series Holly carb with real premium fittings and lines, all new MSD ignition system, it's got headers, uh, a polished Edelbrock aluminum water pump, aluminum radiator, it's got the premium like shrink uh, clamps on it, those are cool. Looks like new Magnum 500 style chrome wheels, a little bit wider, actually a lot wider than they were originally with some uh, beefy BF Goodrich tires on them. <clears throat> Trunk compartments, real nice, painted very neatly, has a complete liner, tire cover, and the matching bag with the jack in it. It looks like a big Alpine amp and a subwoofer, so it must have a good stereo. Uh, the jam and under the trunk lid are gloss red, has a new weather strip. Now the 411 gears, it'll kick it in the butt at the stoplight when you take off, but with that 5 speed, you click in that 5th gear, you can cruise down the highway all day long. So it's the best of both worlds. Obviously it has the red and white pony interior. Everyone loves the pony interior in a Mustang. It's a deluxe seat with the little running horses on it. And that also includes <clears throat> the molded door panels with the knife handle door openers. A new set of white face phantom gauges. Those are real cool. Walnut steering wheel. <clears throat> so we got billet pulleys. We got an electric fan. We got a polished overflow tube, a dual reservoir master cylinder, chrome uh, fuel pump, Ford Racing polished valve covers. The engine bay is a nice clean metal satin black. Under the hood is a nice red chrome alternator. Batteries bolted down properly. It's a very nice engine apartment. This must have just been detailed. It, it's very nice. The plug wires are run very neatly. Nice job in there. You got seat belts for everyone. You got a nice little console with the uh, cup holders. Uh, nice red carpet looks new. Uh, the pony floor mats, the whole dash area looks real nice. Dash pad is new. The bezels, glove box door, knobs, they're all sparkling. Uh, it has a, the stereo we talked about earlier, and there's kick panel speakers and 6x9s in the back here. <clears throat> so there you have it. This is an eye-catching car, and uh, it'll also walk the walk with the performance it has. I'll show the tinted windows. And for what it's worth, it was driven here over an hour, and the uh, guy who drove it here says it just performed really well. No issues. That's how it looks with the dark windows. Yeah, I like this one. Actually, the more I look at it and learned about it, the more I like it. So I'm going to have a good time with this Mustang. Door jams are beautiful. The latch is polished. The trim on the sides of the seat are shiny and polished. Interior lights work. There you have it. That's my impression. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, and that's where you find the prices on all the cars. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you ask the salesman. They'll help you out the best they can. Uh, they can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help with financing. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. That way you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.